Hey, welcome to tip 41. Today we are going to be sharing with you the four steps that you can use to create any speech or presentation uh, quickly and easily. This is something that you can use if it's a short speech or long speech is definitely something that you can use on a Facebook live like this. Uh, just before I get onto something like this, I very quickly think of the four steps in my head and then I can easily just jump on and and go with it. So uh, what are these four steps that you can use then to create an impromptu speech or presentation or even a longer speech or presentation? Well, step number one is what? You're going to say, what, what are you going to talk about? So I did that just now. Uh, I said, hey, today I'm going to talk about the four step system. So that's a what. Then you go into the why. It's so important to share the why because you want to get people engaged. You want like the emotional juice for them. You want them to think, well, I, I really need to listen to this. Because if they're not excited and engaged about why they need to listen to it, then they're probably going to use their attention onto something else. There's another thing in the stream or the post or there's a game or there's work or there's email. So you've got to be very, uh, very good on the why to get people juiced about what you're going to tell them about before you tell them about it. So the what, the why, and then the third piece is story. So what, give them the story, give them the, the four steps or give them the story of someone who's used this process that you're about to tell them or the, or the example. And then the fourth piece is apply. So what, why, story, apply. So what, why, story, apply. The apply in this case is, hey, if you get this framework, if you understand this framework, then my, my task or opportunity to share with you is that you go ahead and you apply this for yourself. Use the four step framework to go ahead and, uh, and create your own speech or presentation. So maybe let me give you a, another example then, because that was the four steps very quickly, very easily. Let's just say we were going to do something on hey, direct marketing. Maybe we we're gonna go and send like a lumpy mail to people. Let's go a little bit old school. Let's uh, capture people's attention. So uh, here's another example for you then. I'm gonna do the four steps now. So here's the what. Today I'm gonna talk to you about a unique opportunity to get in front of your ideal clients and really stand out from the crowd. Uh, you're going to want to do this because it's going to cut through all of the noise. Everyone else in this day and age is sending things electronically, but very few people get stuff physically in the mail. So if you send something physically in the mail, you're going to stand out. And if you send it in a bright colored envelope or with a lump in it, you know, people are definitely going to be intrigued to want to open it and see and read your message. So this is a very powerful, this te technology, this method I'm going to share with you is going to be a very powerful way for you to stand out. Okay, so that was the why. And then we can go into the story. So here's a great story then of one of my clients who did this. They were able to send out, um, actually it was, it was a student. He was able to send out his CV attached to a helium balloon, put it in a box, and he sent it to a company that he really wanted an internship with. And it was a company that didn't do internships. Now, of course, because he was unique in the way that he sent his CV along, when the CEO opened the box and the helium balloon flew up and the CV came up, it captured his attention. And the CEO was so impressed with this, uh, this guy's initiative that he was able to go ahead and get an interview and actually get an internship where people hadn't had an internship before. Right, that's a story. So then apply. So your opportunity then to apply this is how can you do a direct mail campaign? How can you physically send something off to your clients or your prospects uh, in order to get their attention? There you go, that's another example that was the four tips. So what, why, story, apply. I hope that makes sense. Any questions, let me know below. And uh, if you want to use this, I'd love to hear your results. Have yourself a great day and I'll be back tomorrow.